this world. Why are you talking to me, man? You can settle for an ordinary life. I dare you to do better. Letter McCoy. Jim Kirk. The story is essentially um, about how the crew of this um, spaceship come together in the face of such extreme catastrophic events and how they have to learn to overcome their differences with each other in order to defeat a common enemy. We received a distress call. I've been waiting for this day my whole life. This day of reckoning. My character is a guy named Hikaru Sulu, and he's a, the pilot of the uh, USS Enterprise has gotten uh, sick, and I have to fill in for him, and it's a, the maiden voyage of a big, big ship, and um, I'm having to improvise on the fly a little bit. I suffer now. from aviophobia. It means fear of dying Sir, for your own safety, sit down, or else I'll make you sit down. I play the role of Dr. Leonard McCoy. He is this uh, irascible, often grumpy doctor with the most appalling bedside manner, but beneath that he has a heart of gold, and he is the most passionate, uh, loyal, and uh, caring friend that you can possibly find. I may throw up on you. I think these things are pretty safe. Don't pander to me, kid. One tiny crack in the hull and our blood boils in 13 seconds. I don't think the Doctor feels safe, ever. And it was, that's the, one of the funny things about the character is that he, is, he has his little quirks and his paranoias and his fear of space travel or, you know, beaming or all that sort of stuff. That's what makes the character human. A soul flare might crop up. Cook us in our seats. See if you're still so relaxed when your eyeballs are bleeding. Good luck. He's a great guy, and I was a little nervous about, you know, following up with him, and he really put me at ease. He said, John, pretty soon they're going to call me the old guy that played uh, John Cho. That was the real challenge to this, because I had such a huge respect for the work of the late, great DeForest Kelly, you know, who took the role of, of, of Leonard McCoy and, and, and just delivered such an iconic performance for 40 years and sort of filter that through my interpretation and, and come up with a younger version of what that character would be. I will not allow you to lecture me. No one you stop me. I hope that hardcore fans of Star Trek will like it. It's a fun, action-packed, character-driven film. Buckle up. It is over.